Welcome back to the breakfast show too. I'm here this morning with Jasmine Robertson and Van Leonard, the stars of this weekend's production in Corduroy, a play based on the ever popular children's books by Don Freeman. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for joining us. So tell us a little bit about what this play is all about and what we can expect. Yeah, so this play, like you said, is based off those books. Mm -hmm. um, it's a it's a show for youth, uh -huh. for young audiences, but it's really got something for everyone. It's yeah. got that slapstick comedy. It's got some drama in uh -huh. it, but it's really just like a feel-good show. Mm -hmm. Most As definitely. I described it as for the kids and the kids at heart. Yes, yes. <laughs> I remember reading these books when I was younger, or my mom reading them to me, and hearing that we were going to be talking about that, it just kind of brought back some good memories because it was such a good book. So I can only imagine just how much preparing it takes to make a play out of a book. Talk a little bit about what goes into preparing a play like this. Sure, it's a lot of, uh, it certainly comes with a lot of nostalgia just because we're all very familiar mm -hmm. with the story. And in terms of uh, preparing it for like the child eye, yeah. you know, there's a lot of specificities that require, uh, that are required of us because, you know, you have to be authentic yeah. and portray the story in a real way, but also in a way that keeps it alive and mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. And so what are your guys' part in the play? Are you guys in the play? Are you guys behind the scenes? What does that kind of look like for you guys? Yeah, we're both on stage. I am so. playing the mother of of Lisa, the uh -huh. little girl who wants to take Corduroy home. Yes. And I am playing Corduroy the oh, bear. Oh, how yeah. awesome. <laughs> and so kind of what does that look like? Are you guys like completely dressed, like are you gonna be dressed up like a bear? Or are you like in human form? How does yeah, that look? Yeah, so for the show, obviously, like Lisa's gotta interact with a bear. So uh -huh. we've got some little tricks for when she's interacting with a bear mm -hmm. and versus when I'm on stage. Yeah. But I will look just like the book. I'll have so. those, cute green overalls uh -huh. with a button missing and a strap hanging loose. I'll have some cute little bear ears yeah. and some like brown shoes that tie it all together with some like fur on my hands. Uh -huh. Like it's, I'm gonna look like the book. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is super cool. And so how long have you guys been preparing for this play? Only a couple of weeks oh, now. Wow. I believe we started, what, end of June? Yeah. And we've been going since then. We opened this week. Holy cow, yeah. does that feel like too short of a time or is that kind of just the perfect time and you guys are ready to get going? Well, luckily the show is very short. It's yeah. a 90 minute show. Nice. So, you know, we were able to get everything done and, and McLeod kind of runs in rep. So yeah. we're just like moving pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And so then is it different to perform for like a child rather than an adult? Or are you guys kind of used to performing for children? Is that kind of what you guys do? So often? this is actually my first time being in a, a TYA show for mm -hmm. young audiences. So it's like, uh, from what I've heard and from what I've seen, you know, children will be very honest with yes. you as audience members. Yeah. So you have to like play to those emotions in a very real way. Mm -hmm. And it is a little bit different than like usually playing for adult audiences, but right. it's still, you know, the same kind of family, mm -hmm. you know? you get to be really natural. Yeah, exactly, and I feel like, you know, when it comes to children, you're able to have more fun, and you can really hone into exactly what they want to see. They like to laugh, they yeah. like to see all the fun things, and I'm sure they're gonna get a kick out of this play. I mean, it's such a cute story. Mm -hmm. And so, when are you guys, when's the play going to be taking place? Uh, it opens this Wednesday, uh, July 12th, okay. and I believe it runs until the 16th, mm -hmm. the Sunday. And so what are you guys really looking forward to the most about this? The kids' reactions. Yes, yeah. I'm <laughs> really looking forward to the kids because uh -huh. I've done one other show for a young audience and I I just love like when the kids interact with you and after the show they're like, oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah. And hearing them laugh during the show is mm -hmm. so amazing. Oh yeah, I can really imagine that that just makes you feel like you're really doing it. And so then how can people get tickets? On uh, the McLeod Summer uh, website, right? I it's believe with, so, yes. uh, Through SIU. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And you said that this is taking place Wednesday through Sunday, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, the 12th through the 16th. And that is at the Mo Theater in the Communications Building on SIU campus. Correct. Correct. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. That sounds like it's going to be such a fabulous play. If you guys are looking for something to do this week or weekend, that definitely sounds like something you should check out. <laughs> guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll be right back.